Hello everyone, we will continue the topic table buffering and in the previous videos we covered single record buffering, full buffering. Now it's a turn to go for last type of buffering that is generic area buffering. An important one and yes in any interview if the questions is are from buffering topic they will definitely ask the question from the generic area buffering. Now we will come on to generic area buffering. In case of generic area buffering, the records which are matching the generic key will load into the buffer. The records which are matching the generic key will load into the buffer. Now the first question comes, what is generic key? We will define the generic key. We will define the general key and based upon that, whatever the key we will define, the records which are matching with that key will load into the buffer. I will explain with the example and you will understand what you, you what is the meaning of generic key suppose simple example if i will take same to same example which we took for single record buffering and full record buffering in case of single record buffering what happened single record came into the buffer in case of full buffering same to same example we took yes but full table data came into the buffer. Now, what is the third requirement? What is third type of requirement? We want to load only those records in the buffer which are matching with the generic key. And we will define the generic key. Suppose simple example. In our current, pro, in this current example, we defined the generic key. Our generic key consists of two column. What is first one? MA and DT. What is second one? CAR ID. We defined the generic key based upon two columns, MA and DT and CAR ID. It means whatever the matching records are there based upon these two combination of based upon this generic key will load into the buffer. Suppose see, I define the generic key based upon MA and DT and CAR ID. What is the where condition? MA and DT 001, CAR ID LH, count num, count num all zeros four. Yes, based upon this where condition, yes, this record will appear on the application layer. Yes, that's a different thing. We will get the output this particular record. But how many records will load into the buffer? The records will load into the buffer based upon MA and DT and CAR ID only because our generic key is the combination of MA and DT and CAR ID. Just see how many records are for 001 and LH. We have eight records for the combination of 001 and LH. So these eight records will load into the buffer. Just see the importance. In case of single record buffering, always single record load into the buffer at a time. In case of full record buffering, full data of the table will load into the buffer. Now, it might be the scenario we only want to load the specific records into the buffer. Yes, how we will load? Based upon defining the generic key. So, whatever the records will match with the generic key will load into the buffer. Important requirement. Yes, and anyone can ask. In case of single record buffering, single record coming. In case of full record buffering, full table data is coming. If I want to load only the specific records into the buffer, 
yes which part particular type of buffering you should use the answer is generic area buffering so whatever the key you will define whatever the generic key you will define the records which are matching with that generic key will load into the buffer now we will come on to next what is the best example of generic area buffering? Important question from interview perspective. In any interviewer, every interviewer asks, what is the best example of generic area buffering? We maximum time, we always use the generic area buffering for language dependent tables. This is the best example of language, best example of generic area buffering is language dependent tables. Now, we all know very well SAP is a multilingual software. So we have the data in the multiple languages. Suppose I logged in into English language. So which data is applicable or which data is relevant to me, which is in English language. Suppose I logged in into German language. So which data is relevant for me? German data is relevant for me. Suppose I only know Japanese. So if I logged in into Japanese language, so which data is applicable to me? Japanese data is applicable to me. So the best example where we will use the generic area buffering language dependent tables. Suppose I will show you one language dependent table and you will get the full, full clarity. I will go to SC11 transaction code. I will go to change mode of the table. So see this table has a language column, language column, and it is the primary key of the table. M and DT is the primary key of the table, and we have the product ID. If we will include M and DT, we have three keys in the table. I will go to the contents of the table. I will execute. You can see in this table, we have the data in German language. First two date records are in German language. You can simply see this DE stands for German. So we have first two records are for German. Next two records are for English. These two records are for Japanese. Now, suppose I'm going for single record buffering. If I will go for single record buffering at a time, I will get this record at a time. Single record will come into the buffer. Okay. Now, if I will go for full record buffering, this full table data will come into the buffer. Now, I want only these two records into the buffer because these two records are for English language because I logged in into English language. Now you want to load the records of a particular language only in the buffer. So in that case, we can go for which type of buffering? Generic area buffering. Just understand the concept. If I will go for single record buffering and I will pass language and product ID. So this single record will come in the buffer at a time. If I will go for full buffering. This full table data will come into the buffer. But these records, this German records and these Japanese records are not relevant for me. Now, I want to load the records of only English language into the buffer. Yes, I want to load the records based upon generic key. I want to load the specific records. So I will go for which type of buffering? I will go for generic area buffering. Generic area buffering. 